the songwriter in his song Onward Christian Soldiers, he said, like a mighty army moves the church of God. Brothers, we are treading where the saints have trod. We are not divided. All one body we, one in hope and doctrine, one in charity. Onward Christian soldiers, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Believers, let us go on. Let us claim the victory that is in Jesus Christ. Paul wrote to the Corinthians. In his first letter in chapter 15 and verse 57, he said, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The victory is not in your strength. The victory is through the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ gave his life that his church, his children, can be victorious over sin, self, and Satan. This life is to be lived out in such a way from our human bodies that other young believers can see it coming from us and have a desire to receive the same gift from the Lord. This gift of a victorious life. To live it or have it is to exchange self for it. For if we hold on to self, if we hold on to sin, and if we hold on to Satan, we will not have it. But pay attention not to leave self being controlled. When one receives Christ, one becomes a new creature. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, he says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. And behold, all things are becoming. To be in Christ is to be new, to have your sins forgiven. Or to be in Christ is to turn your backs on the old lifestyle. And now live the new life in Christ. Make sure that all things are passed away. And that is a brand new life now that you live living. But the one who received Christ is given the power to operate as a son of God. We are told in John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 12, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You may not be able to do it that you are not a child of God, but when you become a child of God, he gives you the power oh, to live this life. Because now you are a child of God. The children of Israel had nothing to do to achieve victory. Pastor, why did you say that? Let me take you back if you're still not sure. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not. Stand still. Do nothing. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Had you ever found yourself in the situation that you felt that you wanted to do something about it, but you knew that God did not want you to do anything about it, and God fought that situation and won, and when the battle was won, you yourself, did not see God doing it that way. Matter of fact, while he was fighting that battle, you may have been praying accident to have mercy. I've seen that. I've seen that. We don't have to fight. Many of these battles that the flesh pull us into to fight are on call for. The devil used a lot of people to cause you to get yourself in a fight where you would lose your testimony. The children of Israel gained their victory time after time, just by obedience. Notice, in the case of Jericho, all they did was to obey God and follow his instruction. That is American in itself. Let me read for you John chapter 6, verse 10 and onward. And Jesus said, Take the men, sit down, 
Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in numbers about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples. And the disciples to them that was set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. And when they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together, and filled their baskets with the fragments of the barley loaves, which remain. And notice, and those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth, a prophet, that should come in the world. What did they say? Of a truth. He is a prophet, or the prophet that should come in the world. Oh, as we look at this, we see miracles in the New Testament. But I want to take you to Joshua chapter 6 and read for you from verse 10 to verse number 20. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city and let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. And it shall come to pass when Joshua had spoken to the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpet of ram's horn passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. And the armed men went before the priests that blew with the trumpet and the reward came after the ark. And the priests going on and blowing with the trumpet and Joshua had commanded the people saying, Ye shall not shout, now make any noise with your voice, neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout. Then shall ye shout. So the ark of the Lord come past by the city, going about it once, and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And Joshua rose early in the morning, and the priests took up the ark of the Lord, and the seven priests bearing seven trumpets of rams on, before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew the trumpet. And the armed men went before them, but the re reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priest going on and blowing with the trumpet. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp. So they did it six days. Look at verse 15. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times only on that day come past the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew with the trumpet, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given me the city, and the city shall be a cause, even it and all that are therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot shall live, and she and all that are with her in the house because she hid the messengers that we sent. And ye, and in a wise, keep yourselves from the accosting, lest you make yourselves accost when you take the accosting and make the camp of Israel accost and trouble it. But all the silver and the gold and the vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord. They shall come in the treasury. So the people shouted, when the priest blew with the trumpet, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that the children of Israel experienced God fighting for them again. Fighting for them again. It is a choice one must take. Let me be quick to say that every day of our lives, we are called upon to make choices. And I must stop because my time is up. Lord, thank you so much. As I come back and share one more devotion from this portion of scripture with these, your people, and I pray that this would seal 
the hearts of all to you and going forward in their Christian life. Have you be with us now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for listening and thank you for sharing.